The agricultural credit facility was introduced by the government with the aim of providing accessible and affordable credit to farmers across Uganda. This initiative was intended to address the financial challenges faced by farmers and support them in enhancing agricultural productivity, expanding their operations and ultimately improving their livelihoods. Ugandans in the agriculture sector have so far received a total of 620 billion shillings under the agricultural credit facility, a fund managed by Bank of Uganda, according to a report for the period of June 2020 2021. This was an increase by half in the amount lent out by the bank under the fund from 408.6 billion shillings registered at the end of June 2020. Despite its potential to uplift the agricultural sector and contribute to economic growth, many farmers are still unaware of the opportunity it presents. This knowledge gap is preventing them from accessing the financial resources they need to invest in their farms, purchase quality inputs, and adopt modern farming practices. The agriculture, agriculture credit facility. You saw only the three people knew about it. So for the banks, they are quiet. But the agriculture credit facility is supposed to assist the cooperators mm. to get money for agriculture cheaply as opposed to commercial loans. Because when they get this money for agriculture, the government is saying, you banks, we are giving you money extended to the farmers. Cheap. During the engagement with stakeholders, Vanilla farmers have voiced their concerns over the challenging price depreciations that are affecting their livelihoods and the sustainability of vanilla industry. The price depreciations in the vanilla market have attributed to several factors. One of the main causes is the increase in global vanilla production, particularly in countries like Madagascar and India, which has led to a surplus in the market. This surplus has subsequently driven down the prices, making it challenging for Ugandan vanilla farmers to sustain their operations and earn a fair income. It's a cobweb. It doesn't have a stable market. Two years back, vanilla was around 300,000 per kilogram. But when you go to Katerina now, it is at 30,000. What happened last season is that farmers cut coffee and planted vanilla, when it was at 300,000 per kilogram. Because the prices depreciated to 30,000 per kilogram, they also cut vanilla and started planting coffee. This is how our challenge may be more of financing also. Uh, the banks are here. Just yesterday, I spoke to Equity Bank about the agriculture credit fund. And um, I think one thing I was asking was, for instance, a fence. Like, uh, I have like three acres where I would think fencing it would be good for me. Now, if, for instance, I'm going to do vanilla, because we have known that vanilla has been in Uganda, in Mukono for many years, and one thing is that the farmers would have to sleep in their gardens because of theft. theft. Agriculture plays a vital role in the country's economy, employing a significant portion of the population and contributing to export earnings. By investing in agricultural innovations, such as modern farming techniques, value addition, and market linkages, stakeholders believe that financial inclusion can be further enhanced, driving sustainable development. Trading bid, but let's first concentrate on our product as a farmer. You know when you have your product and you have your innovation and you're sure about quality, you can even do away with the middle, with the middleman. But now they are desperate because, like for example, a whole, a whole parish or a whole district is growing the same way. So somebody can come and actually take advantage. But when we start innovation, we'll also have control over our markets. At the moment, that the, the lack of innovation kind of a block the, the, the glass ceiling that you need to break as a country, and you can break it any moment by having adapting small version of technology. About the cost of technology, yes, it costs money. Uh, but you can find somewhere a simple version that can make your uh, uh, growing field crop be better by simple things and not by having the most innovative things. Uh, simplicity in agriculture are the key factor for success. As cooperators, let's come back to our home. Let's have all of these financial institutions here today. Let's have Bank of Uganda. Let's have a city that motivates agricultural financing. Let's have everybody in the room to discuss 
and look for possible mechanisms on how to create affordable and appropriate financing. And that's why we are here. According to the report published by the financial sector, depending on the state of financial inclusion in Uganda between 2021-2022, almost 6 in 10 Ugandan adults, approximately 57%, have access to financial services through formal or informal deposit-taking financial institutions. Despite the existing number of cooperative farmers, a larger proportion of Ugandans still lack access to affordable and appropriate financial services. This calls for immediate redress by all stakeholders. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24 TV, Business Today.